Choices in Skyrim. Stormcloak or Imperial. Betray Cicero or Let the Weasel Live. None of these choices are near as one-sided as this though. Enter a Daedra's best friend. The Rufal Axe versus the Mask of Clavicus Vile. Morals versus no morals. But what do I mean by that? What do you mean by that? Go burning down any building. The quest has you help a dog named Barbus, and by the end of the quest, the Daedric Ward Clavicus Vile is going to try to convince you to kill Barbus. And if you do, you will be rewarded with the Rufal Axe. Don't, and you help Barbus, you'll get the Mask of Clavicus Vile. Not only is it horrible to kill a dog, but this choice gets even worse because it doesn't even count toward the Oblivion Walker achievement, effectively locking you out from ever being able to get that achievement. According to this poll that I ran a few weeks ago with over 1,500 votes, the mask gets picked over 85% of the time. This choice is not even close, just like the Black Star quest that we did in this video. Is Bethesda just bad at making choice quests? Or are we just bandwagons who choose the same items every playthrough over and over again for 10 years? Let's find out. All right, let's speak to Laud. I can find the guy. There he is. No, sorry, I didn't. Sure, I can catch him. Probably, I think it's like 25. Like, this guy literally can pay for a foot long from Subway. Haymar Shame is going to be located here on the map. Right here. There we go. Nicely done. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, this place is going to be filled to the brim with vampires. So definitely make sure you are of a decent level before you take on Haymar Shame. Unless you're, unless you're good. Unless you're good at the video game. In which, right on, brother. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What? I'm confused. All right, I think we're finally on an actual path here. All right, so we're coming up here. We see Barbus here right outside of Amar's Shame. So, like I said, you're going to be very careful when you go in here because there's going to be a ton of vamps. All right, so there he's warning us kind of um, his owner is going to offer us something, and he's really telling, him, telling us not to trust him, which, honestly... He's a Daedra. We really shouldn't trust him anyhow. Boom, get rinsed. And really, you don't have to have any kind of walkthrough because Barbus will take you all the way through the entire dungeon. And then we'll get to this point here where it seems like we're exiting, but really, we're just going even deeper into the cave. And now that we're here at this opening, we're going to see some frostbite spiders. Now that we've not seen in any other dungeon in Skyrim, ah, perfect kill shot. All right, and now that we're here in this inner sanctum area, we can come down this little ramp and speak to Clavicus Vile. Actually, wait, what? Do we come up here first? And grab this awesome chest with 10 whole gold in it. Let's talk to Barbus. Barbus is just saying, woof. You gotta actually come up to it. Lord Vile, I have a quest of you. I don't like how we're looking at this crotch. There we go. Mm. See, he's a, he's a pretty crooked Daedra, as they all are. Don't at me in the comments. Actually, comment your least favorite Daedric Lord down in the comment section below. I'm just here to reunite you with Barbus. I don't understand. What's your offer? A crappy axe. It is not powerful. It is not that way. Liar! Do not listen to this. All right, so let's see what Barbus has to say about all this. Mm. So he can give you some backstory there. Let's go fetch this. Let's go fetch this axe. Let's go fetch this axe for Clavicus Vile. All right, now that we're free, we can head on over to Rhyme Rock Burrow. Going to be way up here. So let's head on over here. I hope I wasn't too subtle in the intro. Make no mistake about it. You do not need to choose Clavicus over Barbus. You really need to side with Barbus on this quest. Not only does it allow you to get the Oblivion Walker achieve achievement, which the Rufal Axe does not count toward, but the Mask of Clavicus Vile does, you don't have to kill a dog, and you don't get a god-awful axe in the process. All right, so we should be closing in on this burrow. Yep, there it is on the map. Okay, a little bit of a fall. A little bit of a drop. Be very careful. And here we go. Into Rhyme Rock Burrow. Okay, that isn't affecting him. So we're going to go on ahead and hit him with some Rolf. There we go. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not appreciate that. This fight is not going very good, boys. Your boy is fumbling the bag. 
as we speak. I don't know why I can't. Okay, my Magicka is completely out of sorts. Okay, okay, finally, good lord. I don't know what happened right there, but that was definitely difficult. So let's go down here and loot him, see if he's got anything decent on him. Uh, he's got a little spell book there you can grab. Now let's go up here and grab the Rueful Axe. Now that we've got the Rueful Axe, we can head on out of this dungeon and go back to the Shrine of Clavicus File. Pretty nice little book right here you can read also to level up your conjuration back with the master chest. Okay, let's get on out of here. All right, so here we have the Rueful Axe, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy weapon here. Let's go on ahead and inspect that bad boy and look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rueful Axe with one of the worst enchants in the game. Only stamina damage doesn't really matter. Let's go back to Haymar's Shrine, or Haymar's Shame, my bad. All right, so we're back here in the lair of Clavicus Vile. Let's go ahead and step over this Imperial lady and talk to him again. We're back, now fulfill your end of the bargain. All right, so for the sake of this guide, I want to show you guys both ends of the quest line. So you've noticed I'm not on J. Kill the Adequate that we've been using. I'm on Jake and Dill, my Wood Elf character. So we're going to go on ahead. Sure, I would like to keep this axe. Okay, yeah, and he's going to manipulate and he's going to change and things like that. Where's Barbus? What? Where is Barbus? Um, I don't know where Barbus is. So let's go find Barbus, I guess, and uh, kill him. All right, I feel bad, Barbus. I really do. Wait, why is this not hurting him? Do we actually have to kill him with the axe? Yeah. So there we go. We've killed Barbus. Had a couple of arrows. Now we gotta go speak to Clavicus Vile. <clears throat> Just to let you guys know, this was 100% the wrong choice. Um, so definitely don't do what I just did, but I did it for the sake of the video. Trust me. Like, even if you're role-playing a big old axe-wielding guy who has a dual-wielded axe or two-handed axe, you know, it's still not even the best option. Honestly, I would argue not even a viable option for a build that way. So definitely don't just don't do this. This is the bad, a very very bad um, ending to the quest line if you do it this way. It's like killing Parthenax. You can do it. That doesn't mean you should. He's dead. Are we done here? Okay. Yeah, he probably should have. So now Barbus is going to show up right there on the statue, and we've completed a Daedra's best friend. But you might be asking, Jake, what in the world happens when you complete the quest the other way? I'm glad you asked, friend. Let's go on ahead and load that save back. All right, so let's go on ahead and get the Mask of Clavicus Vile instead. Let's see if it's worth it. So if you remember, the enchantment on the Rufal Axe is this. And let's see what the enchantment on the Mask of Clavicus file is going to be. I've been thinking it over. No deal. Take the axe back. Take the axe back, Barbus. Okay, you don't sound too happy still. So there we go with that. And let's talk to Barbus. There he goes. Willfully back at the right hand of Clavicus file. All right, so there we go. The Mask of Clavicus file has been added. And we completed the quest. A dangerous best friend. Let's go on ahead and see what the Mask of Clavicus Vile has in store for us. Hopefully, it's better than the Rufal Axe. An already much cooler looking weapon or item, in my opinion. We'll go ahead and turn that or put that on. And you can see here the enchant is prices are 20% better, 10 plus on speechcraft, and Magicka regenerates 5% faster. Definitely not the best helmet you can get in the game, but still yet a very, very good item. A Daedric item that will help help you in the Daedra in the Oblivion Walker achievement. And this is what the mask looks like on a player. If you enjoyed this video, you have to watch this video where we figure out the best choice in the Black Star quest. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Don't forget to read your Bibles. But above all else, thank you for your time. Peace out.